The topic of discontinuing the use of conventional jeepneys in the Philippines has garnered substantial attention and generated controversy in the recent times. The policy decision to modernize the public transportation system has solicited ethical consideration and prompted inquiries into the effect on diverse stakeholders. As we delve into this subject matter, it is imperative to examine the ethical dimension that encompass the phase-out of jeepneys and its potential ramification for both society and the individual affected. Through a thorough examination of the ethical consideration associated with this policy alteration, a greater awareness of its complexities and ramification can be attained, thereby facilitating informed deliberation regarding its advantage and disadvantages. The elimination of conventional jeepneys in the Philippines has raised ethical arguments, which has in turn prompted an investigation of the situation through the lens of utilitarianism. The ethical theory of utilitarianism, which seeks to maximize the amount of happiness experienced by all people while minimizing the amount of the suffering experienced by any one person, could offer some useful insight into the effect of this strategy. While the phasing out of traditional jeepneys promote overall happiness by improving transportation efficiency, enhancing road safety, and elevating traffic congestion, there is counter-argument to consider. Critics argue that this transition disregards the loss of cultural heritage and sentimental value associated with this iconic vehicle. However, phasing out traditional jeepneys can lead into positive outcome. The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, or LTFRB, highlight the improved fuel efficiency, better maintenance standards, and advanced safety for features of modernized jeepney. Moreover, studies conducted by the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority, or MMDA, demonstrate the determinal effect of traffic congestion on productivity and quality of life. By this, it becomes evident that the phasing out of traditional jeepneys can indeed contribute to maximizing overall happiness by improving transportation efficiency, road safety, and reducing traffic congestion. While the phasing out of traditional jeepneys promote environmental sustainability by reducing greenhouse gas emission and addressing air pollution concern, there is counter-argument to consider. Skeptics argue that the transition away from traditional jeepney fails to address the root causes of environmental degradation and pollution such as industrial emission and improper ways of management. However, phasing out traditional jeepneys can lead into positive environmental outcomes. Studies conducted by the Clean Air Asia Organization highlight the significant contribution of transportation, including traditional jeepneys, to the air pollution in urban areas. By replacing this vehicle with modernized, eco-friendly alternatives, the aim is to reduce carbon emission and improve air quality, leading to benefit for public health and the environment. This evidence of phasing out of traditional jeepneys can contribute to environmental sustainability aligning with the utilitarian principle of maximizing overall happiness by minimizing the harm. While the facing of the traditional jeepneys in the Philippines aim to promote overall happiness through improved transportation efficiency, reduce air pollution, enhance road safety, and alleviate traffic congestion, counter-arguments emphasize the loss of cultural heritage and the affordability and accessibility concern for low-income individuals. To address this concern, it is crucial to strike a balance between modernization efforts and preserving cultural significance. Additionally, the government should ensure that alternative transportation options are affordable, accessible, and meet the needs of marginalized community. By considering the utilitarian principle of maximizing overall happiness, policies can be implemented to optimize transportation system while taking into account the broader well-being of the public.